Yeah, next week, Brad, it, it really is going to be cold for October. This is chilly. It's crisp. We've been below average. Our normal high is still around 70. Uh, but this weekend, though, is going to be very good for race weekend, the Columbus Marathon on Sunday. Perfect weather that runners will enjoy, uh, not too windy. Uh, we will see great weather for the last couple of days of the Fairfield County Fair uh, today and tomorrow through at least Saturday at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. And then we start to look forward to the Circleville Pumpkin Show next week when it will be borderline wintry at the start anyway. Mr. Ruder Tower camera starting to pick up some fluffy clouds, 58 degrees. And give it an hour, we'll be above 60. Southwest wind at 11, relative humidity 36%. By the way, with the uh, breeze, uh, there is actually a concern for fire danger over the western third of Ohio and very low relative humidity. Uh, in that way, uh, the vegetation is a little bit drier to the west of us. But the storm system has brought plenty of rain, uh, more so to the east of central Ohio, now moving through New England. But we had upwards of an inch of rain uh, during the middle of the week when that came through. Here's another cold front. That one's got snow, Wisconsin. Don't worry, not yet, uh, but not totally out of the seven day forecast. Much colder air next week. That's a cold front after the next cold front. Uh, there'll be a, essentially a parade of cold fronts. But in the meantime, we get a cool dry football Friday night after a breezy, crisp Friday afternoon. And we're going to love the weekend. And for the final days of the Fairfield County Fair and for the Columbus Marathon, we couldn't ask for nicer weather as well as football Friday night tonight. 60 at Newark it looks to be the warm spot. Uh, most locations are in the upper 50s, though. Delaware 55, as is Mount Gilead. So working our way towards 60. Might not make it to 60 in the northeast, but close enough. A few fair weather clouds out there. Middle 60s in the southern part of the state. I mentioned football Friday night. This is nine weeks in a row, including tonight, uh, where we're going to have absolutely spectacular weather. 58 at kickoff, about 54. Notice not a sharp drop in temperature as the game ends. So starting here at lunchtime, we see the winds start to increase out of the southwest during the afternoon by the larger red arrows. Clouds suddenly rush in here after about 10 o'clock tonight. We're dry for the games. Showers in Indiana will fizzle as they approach the I-71 corridor toward daybreak. That's the first in a series of cold fronts. And the clouds will dissipate in the east. And we'll see temperatures around 60 tomorrow. A little bit cooler up to the north. This batch of clouds Sunday is an upper level disturbance. We're going to get into the 60s, even flirt with 70 in southern Ohio. But behind this uh, system, uh, much cooler air waiting in the wings for next week. So a breezy afternoon, about 63 degrees, and then cooling off into the upper 50s as you head off to high school games or outdoor plans. Can't rule out a shower, only 20% chance, four to eight in the morning. It's a cold front. Behind the front, a nice day Saturday, a slightly milder Sunday, and rather than the bottom, kind of falls out next week, cold enough for a rain snow shower mix. On yeah, Tuesday. no kidding. All right, Ben, thank you.